This, the Gemara in Masechet Sukkah, page 52. The Gemara says, "Laatid lavo." I think we'll finish here. The Gemara says, "Laatid lavo." In the future, one day, close to the end of the world, Hakadosh Baruch Hu will bring the Satan and will slaughter him. I explained that in the beginning of the lecture tonight. The concept of eliminating the Satan automatically eliminate the angel of death. Nobody dies anymore. There's no more death and eliminate the desires and the evil inclination and all the negative things in a, in a human being. HaKadosh Baruch Hu slather him in front of all the righteous people and in front of all the wicked people. The righteous, after they see what, who was the Satan, it looks to them like a huge mountain. And they are thinking how we were able to overcome such an, a huge obstacle and stay righteous. And the wicked, they look at the Satan now and it looks to them thin like a hair. Nothing. If you put hair on the floor, anyone acknowledge it? Nothing. You walk over it like nothing there. The righteous are crying and the wicked are crying. The righteous are crying and say, how could we climb and overcome such a huge mountain and succeed. And the wicked say, how couldn't we win against such a nothing? How did we mess up such an easy test? Something not adding up in that Gemara. You know, when you learn, you have to use your head, not just to read. What does not add up here? From the two groups, the righteous and the wicked, who should really cry? The righteous or the wicked? Who should cry? The righteous should cry or the wicked? Only the wicked. Wow, it was so easy and I failed. But why the righteous are crying? The wicked are going to hell now, or to Kafa Kela. Of course they'll cry. And it's when, especially when they see that the test was so easy and they fail, they cannot forgive themselves. But the righteous, what are they crying? They passed all the tests that Hashem set for them. Now it's time to get the huge reward. They should be dancing, not crying. Huh? If I was there, hopefully one day I will, I would grab the hands of all the people. Right? Imagine how everyone cry. Ah, Ma, why are you crying? Now it's time to, <laughs> to have joy. The answer is Rabotai. The answer is when the righteous see how tall was that mountain that they occupied, that they overcome, they will understand the words of the Gemara and the words of Chazal. That without the help of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, what we call Si'ata Dishmaya, constant help, no one could have overcome such a mountain. The Tzadikim just realized that Hashem did 99.9% .9 of the job. We really didn't do nothing. The only thing we did is chose, choose to do. I want to buy tefillin, but I don't have money. I want that's my will. Oh, miracle after miracle, a week later you have to flee. I want to become Shomer Shabbat, but oh, my parents are secular, what kind of a house we have. Oh, all of a sudden the neighbor invites you for Shabbat, this next guy come to the yeshiva. Six months later you've been Torah already. In the end Hashem does everything. And that's what it means. Ptach li petach ke pitro shel machat. Just open me the size of a needle and the rest of the opening, I will do everything for you. You choose the path and after that I do everything for you. I do everything for you. You just have to choose what you want to do and what you don't want to do. You choose the negative things, I also help you. And later I'll punish you. You choose the right thing, I'll help you and reward you. That's what it all comes down to.